When you upload your videos to YouTube, there may be a few settings that you're taking for granted that could have a huge impact on the success of your video. So let's take a look at them. VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. Hello, I'm Rob. Welcome back to vidIQ, educating you on your YouTube journey. Now I've got a question for you. What are all of the unique things you create for every single video, whether it be thumbnails, titles, descriptions and tags? Do let us know in the comments below. And the reason I ask you that is because some things you probably never change when you upload your videos and are always working in the background, but are they working smartly for you? When you are logged into YouTube, you should see your channel logo in the top right hand corner of most YouTube screens. If you click on that, you have the option to go to YouTube. YouTube Studio. This is currently in beta but will become the standard as 2019 progresses. We're going to start with something you should all review every couple of months and those are your upload defaults. In the new studio click on settings in the left hand navigation bar and then choose upload defaults. When you begin the process of uploading a video to YouTube elements of that upload will be pre-populated with what's currently in your upload default fields. Starting with a title, it's probably best to leave this one blank as each title should be keyword specific and emotionally relevant to the video you upload. But if you are an educational or how-to channel, there may be specific phrases you want to include here. On the other hand, your description is where you want to pre-populate some stuff. Firstly, we have a top paragraph here that indicates the viewable description preview when people are scrolling through YouTube. It's a second opportunity to include keywords and grab the viewer's attention. Imagine you are writing an old school tweet with 140 characters. Make it as compelling as possible. Now, underneath all of the stuff you write about each video upload, you should also include new viewer information such as who you are, what you do on YouTube, answers to common questions about your channel, links to whatever is important to you and hashtags at the very bottom of the video description if you intend to use them. A question you may be asking is how do I use hashtags and should I be using hashtags on YouTube? Well we do have a useful video over here, make sure to check it out. And of course always set your videos to private or at the very least unlisted so that YouTube has a chance to process it properly including giving warnings about monetization and so that you can set it to public at the exact time you want it to go live. There are three tabs at the top of the upload default screen, the second one being extras and featuring tags and ad placement. Much like the title and description your tags should be very specific to each uploaded video. We've got a couple of very broad default ones here and we usually delete as appropriate per video. And of course, once you have vidIQ installed, you will be offered hundreds of tag and keyword suggestions to help optimize your videos along with loads of other tools too. Next up, if your channel is monetized, you want to make sure you are serving up ads on your content that maximize your potential earnings. Imagine if you've uploaded 50 videos with default settings that haven't been set correctly. That's a lot of potential revenue down the drain. Now I'm not suggesting you stick as many adverts as possible on your videos, but consider this. If you make longer videos of say 15 to 30 minutes or more, and you have high audience retention, say 70 to 80%, I think that gives you permission to put adverts in the middle of your videos. After all, you deserve that little bit of extra income. One more tab to look at now, and that's the advanced section. Unless you're happy for people to use your content for free, make sure your videos are set to the standard YouTube license. The category drop down can help YouTube advertisers match your content to the correct target audience. And it just so happens we've got a dedicated video on YouTube categories over here. The video language option helps YouTube to show the correct language captions to the right viewers. Caption certification only applies to videos that are being broadcast on US television and community contributions allows viewers to submit captions for your videos. Finally, you can manage how comments are posted on your channel, whether you want to allow all comments, review each one or disable them. If you are a channel that includes children in your content or appeals to a very young audience, you may want to check this every week to make sure YouTube haven't disabled this, although they should tell you in an email if they do. Making changes to your upload default settings will affect all the videos you upload in the future. But what about those that are already on YouTube, where well, you can make changes to them on an individual basis? From the new studio dashboard, click on the videos link in the left hand navigation bar to list all of your videos. Next, click on the video you want to adjust and on the first page you will see the title, description and tags you can change along with many of our vidIQ tools. At the top of this screen there is an advanced tab where you can adjust all the other settings found in the default upload page along with additional options such as video location, age restriction and even more monetization options. 
Next on the list are channel keywords. To get to those, go to settings once again in the new studio and click on channel. On the first tab labeled basic, you will find channel keywords that apply to your whole channel, not just individual videos. Historically, channel keywords helps YouTube to understand the content and audience of your entire channel. Now I say historically, because if you were to ask me today how important channel tags are, I'm gonna be upfront with you, I have no idea. YouTube themselves have been stressing for a long time that video tags are no longer as important as they used to be, and we did some tests on this on the video over here. And if video tags aren't very important anymore, I would imagine channel tags are even less important. Take this as an example. We inserted this rather strange and unique tag into our channel keywords to see if we would be able to search and find our channel through that tag. We couldn't. The only result we did come up with was this channel and I've got to be honest that kind of leaves me feeling a little uneasy next up is your YouTube branding watermark if you don't know what that is it's right down here and if you're on desktop I highly recommend you click it right now go on you know you want to. To change this in the new studio, go to settings and this time click on channel and go to the final branding tab. By setting this correctly with the right image, you can increase subscribers you get from this feature by over 500%. Yeah, you heard me right, 500%. We've got the numbers to prove that for the full tutorial. Check out the video over here. Going to settings and then community will allow you to review a few things, including the management of your moderators for live streams. Thank you very much to everybody who moderates our vidIQ live streams of course, blocking people from commenting on your videos and creating a list of words that if picked up in comments automatically send them to your held for review section. When it comes to blocking words obviously you can use it for inappropriate language but what you can also use it for is those damn annoying comments when people say sub for sub, subscribe to my channel, hey check out my channel because you can include phrases in blocked words. I'm going to leave a list of them in the video description, you can copy and paste them into yours if you want. Now for the final Final setting I recommend. If you're this deep into the video, you're pretty serious about growing your channel. So what you want to do is turn on vidIQ by downloading it. It will help you research YouTube, analyze any video on the platform, audit your own channel and take actionable steps that will help you get more views and subscribers. There is a link in the video description and it is free to download. If you want more YouTube beginners tips and tricks just like this, check out our playlist over here. If you want to learn more about vidIQ, we've got an awesome tutorial video down there. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on any of those videos right now. Enjoy the rest of your video making day.